what's going on everybody it's your boy ace back with the video so today what we are doing is we are working on this q50 um q50 uh valve body went out i did my inspections and my diagnostics valve body went out so it's already up in the air right now it's already up in the air right now and um i'm gonna start working on it right now shortly i, I let the oil drain out right now it's already drained out I'm gonna start working on it right now, but the valve body that I got this guy was a steal because um, I got it for a good price from the guy in LA. Uh, he has eBay, has everything's certified and everything. So you know, I, I didn't, I took the deal on it. But this guy has a shop and he bought two on accident from Infinity. So damn, this lighting is bad. From Infinity, so it's gonna work perfectly it's all packaged up it's still and sealed and everything like that so it should work perfectly but look guys this one is literally brand spanking new like nothing's wrong with it, it still has the plastics from infinity and everything and he just repackaged it and sent it to me so this car is like not running good at all i drove it for like down the block real quick and back put it in first gear and i drove it and it's like barely redlining it's not letting me shift that 6.5 6k rpms and it went back to drive but i'm gonna show you guys today how to do it on a valve body on a q50 uh vhr 3.7 uh stock transmission stock uh intakes and everything uh, i'm gonna show you guys the best i can when i'm working down there so you guys know if you guys have trouble with your q50s or anything like that or valve bodies or transmissions this video will help you guys good I'm gonna try my best to explain it, show you guys how to do it, every little step I'm gonna do, and everything. Um, but let's get into this video, guys. So guys, I am under the car right now. I need to take off this um, oil pan right here. Hopefully I can. Damn, that was way easier than I thought it would be. Yeah, damn. Hmm. Right, it's very loose. Um. I'm gonna take out this oil pan real quick and I'll show you guys how it looks from under underneath. I am using my secondary drill because my other drill kind of did mess up on me. But let's do this real quick. Hold on. So I gotta do, I did just take it off right now. It's not bad, but the oil filter, bro, it's still very dirty. Like, oh yeah, that's not bad. Never mind, it's bad. There's metal on here too, so. That's another bad thing. Let me clean this up real quick, guys, and get to it, and I'll show you guys more right now.
so good I did take out the manifold I mean the valve body this is the old one so old one I was already in the car you can see it's kind of wasted and already gone and everything so you always want to make sure these numbers are here. M3B match and I believe that's about it yes that's about it because the other one's the same thing M3B this is brand new this is brand new old you can literally tell the difference from old and brand new but guys yeah I'm gonna take a time lapse real quick and then take another video of all this so you can see this one's perfectly good everything's good to go on this one the back of it is good as well let me see if I can flip it real quick good to see you guys oh no filter New everything on this one, you guys. Everything's brand new out the box. Sheesh. This one's filthy. But I'll just do it for you. Dirty. Uh, dirty. Yeah, dirty. Dirty. Yeah, no. <laughs> Time to go. But. Make another t quick time lapse video for you guys. Put this one on real quick. It should be good. Sheesh. All right, guys. So I did not record right now when I put it back on, but it's the same thing as putting it back on. Um, I only put one screw in right now. It's holding up by holding up by one screw. But yeah, you just plug in that um, that green uh, uh, connection over here on top again, like the same way you unplugged it, and you're gonna have to plug back down right over here again on this side. And just connect, uh, pull all the bolts back in. If you have them in order, I have them in order right here. So you could use a marker, it's better for you guys, but I know how this goes. So you just put it back on right here and that's about it. Uh, besides that guys, just put everything back together. Clean the oil pan, transmission oil pan, and then put it back on. I have a gasket, so I'm gonna put the gasket on and put the oil pan on top and then from there guys you should be good i'm gonna show you guys the time lapse right now when i do all this and i go from there guys What's going on guys so i am continuing this video from yesterday um it was too dark yesterday to even finish it in my opinion so today what i'm gonna finish with is i already tightened up everything on the oil pan and gasket and everything everything's all tightened up all thing i gotta do now is just put the oil in all the transmission fluid oil that's it um what you do need is of course transmission fluid and then you need one of these these pumps to put it into it and then one of these one of these little devices right here it's like 10 bucks for the whole packet right here that's cool as hell because you can use it for any other car you could just screw it in screw it into the oil pan where you take out the l little ratchet up right there and then just fill it up fill it up fill it up and you fill it up until you fill it up enough where as soon as you're done filling it up and you let go of it it starts dripping down and it keeps dripping wait like three seconds and you know it's filled up completely and from there you just cut it off you're done uh cap it fill it up a little bit more if you want cap it and you should be good but i'm gonna fill it up right now and after that um turn it on make sure everything's running smooth and that's it car's done car's ready to go customers are gonna come pick it up and everyone's happy you know so I will continue this video right now with me doing all this and let you guys know on the final review. So guys, I am back. So what I did was put the fluid back in real quick and I put like six, seven quarts in it. The same as I took out or that came out, put the same thing in. So, you know, like that's what you guys got to do. I'm taking it for a test drive right now, but everything seems good right now. Let me see how it test drives right now. I'll let you guys know. So guys, um, I did finish the Q50. And 
and uh, there's nothing on the dash, nothing, no lights, nothing, just TPMS sensor, but you know that's by itself. It's working perfectly. It's the third gear, second gear, and first gear, but you know it'd be louder, you know, like. Shit's perfectly, just. Perfect, perfect.